Jerry wanted to relax a little for a couple of days. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> Well, guys, we're at another big old barrel race. We got Connor and Henson, and this is Buckeye, Arizona. This is their main arena, and Riley will be running dibs. Um, she's number 37. <laughs> I'm not even running, and I am a nervous wreck. Whoa, 17, 3, 6, 8. 17 and 3, 68. That goes comfortably to the lead. We're going to Riley Reed heading out on number 37 out of Holbrook, Arizona on dibs on a French girl. Baby Shockley, you're number 38. Number 39 is going to be Blaze Lang and, and Ziggy Joe Roberts, you are 40. That's all I got, bud. That's all I got. <laughs> so we're just letting these guys have a little bit of turnout time. They're not used to staying in little tiny stalls. So we're just letting them stretch out their legs and roll. Check it out. Thank you, stall boy. <laughs> so here are their stalls. Right there and right here. So they're not used to staying in little boxes like this. So we'll just put them back in refill their water and make sure they got enough hay for the day and come back tonight see this place where we are you don't ever want to be at a place like this when you're traveling Turn, you can feel it. Yep. I can see it, yep. Won't even turn now. Oh, you barely made it. You barely made it. You gotta go through the chingalera. There. Jerry wanted to relax a little for a couple of days. Sorry, Jerry. Not really relaxing. It is relaxing. 
that? Yep. So start all the way to the top. Put your wrench all the way to the top. There you go, and then just go down with it. So Jerry's there to rip it apart, and Henson's there to put it all back together. I'll take all. Good as new. Good as new. Take this stuff off. Get over here. Hey, Connor, want to use my impact that I don't have? <laughs> Danielle getting ready to bell race. Here at Buckeye. Got her hair did good. It's lovely. <laughs> Last time she ran, it was like 10.30. Tonight it's 12.30. It's the only time Zara likes to work at midnight. Kind of reminds me of myself. <laughs> so we're in Phoenix and it still gets chilly in Phoenix. It's about 45 degrees, I think. It's kind of clearing out here because it's about midnight. Coming close to the end of the bell race. Well, Danielle just ran at the bell race, midnight, well, 12.30. I think it's almost done. Uh, she didn't go super fast with Zar. She wanted, kind of just wants to build confidence on him. It was the first time in covered arena. Well, no, I think, yeah, he's been in a covered arena. But hasn't really, not at night. So, she just want to make sure he's working good, paying attention, not getting strong and heavy on her. It'll look good. And then she'll just kind of move him up slowly with speed. Post-run interview? If you want. <laughs> it was fun. The barrels are all printed up and the walls are all printed up with banners. So I could tell he was like, wait, what? what? <laughs> but once he found them, he was bound to turn them so it was good another night race in the books it feels like his feet are finally feeling better because before we could not there was no way we we're gonna walk on this kind of ground or on pavement and he's just walking on it like it's nothing so we're, we're getting somewhere we're making progress he needs a treat they always need treats and they're done working. That's right. When, I, when I'm working at 10 o'clock, 10 30, midnight. You get treats too. That's right. <laughs> I get treats. I need treats. Everybody needs treats at that late at night. Midnight snacks. Yeah. Oh, the boys are done. And then Dibs will run Riley on Sunday again. The day playing with the kids tomorrow, I think, unless we break down again. <laughs> uh -huh. Not funny? That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a hell of a day. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Came well, here at 8, 7 this morning. We had to leave the hotel at 6 o'clock. Yeah, we left the hotel 6 o'clock. Hot came, traffic. Came here, met Riley at seven. Riley and Abby, Connor, Connor came with them. Cause he was at a baseball game. And been then, going ever since. Yes, and then she, 
Riley ran at like 8.30 this morning. And this barrel race been going since 8. She ran at 8.30 and Danielle ran at midnight. <laughs> yep. We throw in, threw in some trampoline park and Oh, oh so yeah, I didn't even go on with my story. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah, so then we left and went and got lunch, met with the kids and took them to the trampoline park and and then my truck the truck started making a crazy noise i thought it was uh i thought it was like power steering i thought the power steering fluid was low well that's what my dad was thinking i thought okay yeah that makes sense and then because it only would make a noise when we turned and then it started making noise when we drove straight so i thought it's the hub it has to be the hub <laughs> so we we went and bought a hub and called up uncle kenny uncle kenny brought over tools and we changed the hub right in the parking lot right in the parking lot <laughs> like maybe an hour and a half two hours max i don't know we did it pretty fast i wasn't any help it was mostly jerry and the boys and the boys i'm gonna blame it on that i was hurt that i was no help but y'all didn't even know. Jerry's a hell of a mechanic. That is true. <laughs> he, he might not have, um, do it much. He did a lot back in the day. But yeah, he's a hell of a mechanic. So yeah, he, we changed it up. And then came back over to the bell race. Truck's running good. So we're going to put... The horses away. Go back. Go to sleep. Come back in the morning and feed. Come back in the morning and feed. Um, I don't know if Danielle's gonna ride it all tomorrow. Probably, probably not though. Uh, maybe she didn't really should. need to work on anything with the horse. I didn't think. I think the horse worked good. Yeah. Just gotta pick up speed. Just build confidence. That's what this is all about. I mean, I could have spent. Five. I mean, he's five. He's not super old or he's not, you know, he's just young. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to pay so much for an entry fee here because it's kind of high. But it was either pay a high entry fee here or haul him, haul him two hours across town. To a barrel race tomorrow. To a barrel race tomorrow that had like half the price entry fee. But it's just a lot of stress. For me and the horse so we just decided to stay here and enter here and just build some confidence so that's what we did we goal accomplished we probably won no money at all <laughs> and didn't place anywhere but that's just that's just how it goes sometimes but well, we're partying yeah <laughs> that's good when you party you just waste money point yeah when you every party you go to or have you waste money that's what we're doing party this is how we waste money what's rule number yeah. one uh party that's right party <laughs> and it is almost my birthday so this is kind of like my birthday party trip there you go that's why Jerry came too. <laughs> this is birthday week. He's like, I want to go with you guys. It's my birthday. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched Peanut Butter Falcon, you guys should watch that. It's a really funny movie. Yeah. Really, really cute, funny movie. I was invited to Jerry's birthday party. <laughs> okay. okay. Out. I think we're ready. Okay guys, so we've been down this road, I don't know, feels like 20 times this weekend and we passed this taco stand right here. And Henson was like, we should try that someday. So <laughs> here we are. Um, I just ran over here to Circle K, which is just um, next to the taco place and got me a drink and i ran into a fan in the circle k here in buckeye 
kind of crazy. <laughs> he said that he was getting hay, um, probably from bales or somewhere. But yeah, this place that we're at is known to sell hay. So he said he lived up where we live and was just here to get some hay where it's probably cheaper. Anyway, um, here's the taco stand. Check it out. Pretty legit taco place. <laughs> Hi, Brooks. Crawl under. We don't have our food yet. Should I crawl under there? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crawl under here. Anyway, we'll let you know if this place is any good. It smells good. Should be good. Yeah, nice truck. No. Hanson's no. always on the phone. Huh? Last time we were eating, he was on the phone. Yeah. There's his carne asada tacos. Yeah, nice Brooks got a tamale. Connor got carne asada fries. Hayden got fries too. That's like a lot. I don't know if she's gonna finish that. I'm gonna have to help her. Oh, and I got um, chicken tacos. Mom. Yummy. Look, cucumbers. You love cucumbers, Where are we, guys? I don't know if I ever been to a place like this. <laughs> of course, we had to come to the baseball store. Check out all the cool new gear. I thought horses were expensive. Look at that. 500 bucks for a bat. What you got, Brooks? Glove and a bat. Is that what you're getting? Yeah, and then I'm gonna get candy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Brooks got some goodies from the baseball store, and so did Connor. I guess that's how a real cowboy's supposed to dress. Dang it! I need one of those now. I guess a leopard vest. Dang, this place is jumping. Everybody wants to be a cowboy. <laughs> so this is what real cowboys wear, huh? Yeah, no, this is extreme tough gear. Tough extremely gear. tough. We are living that city life. Cool, huh, guys? I like this. It's what city people do, guys, on Saturdays. <laughs> you have a neutral? Okay. So we found a little arena to practice in. The barrels were set up and the ground was nice. So I decided to cruise Zar through. Um, you can see I'm asking him for a little bit more here. I didn't give him enough room right here going into the third. So he bowed wide on the backside. So we just kind of did that again. Made him come through correctly. After giving him a few minutes to catch his breath and relax again, we cruised through one more time. So it's breakfast time. We're gonna share. <laughs> A grande burrito. <laughs> I'm gonna share Thomas. it again. 
Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> That's your castrating knife? It's everything knife. <laughs> Yummy. It doesn't look like a Navajo burrito full of potatoes and no meat. Yeah, we seen that. <laughs> Well, that was fun, huh? I don't even care that Riley hit a barrel or dibs, whoever. <laughs> that was a good run. They improved on their time. <laughs> or stayed pretty consistent at least. So <laughs> I'm happy. It was a good, good weekend of playing with horses. I'm gonna let her roll now. She loves to roll. <laughs> I think you guys know that. She loves to roll, so we're gonna go do that. So we are here at the Tenney's house. They are some family friends of ours that have bought several horses and we are uh, picking up Cinco today. She is a mare that they bought from us. And she's by Monster. Here are her papers. Missy Poco Cinco, I guess is her name. <laughs> so we're going to take her home with us today. Brooks and Hayden are going to play on the playground over there. Get their wiggles out before the long drive home. <laughs> hey, Cinco! Big and fat, like last time we saw ya. warm today. What do you say, Hayden? It's like 73 degrees, it says. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater. Scoping it out, smelling dibs. And there's her signature brand. Oh, I'm going to give the horses some water. Get, get that bucket, Hayden, and that. In the buckets, there's a red bucket. Grab it. Okay, let's give these other guys some water. We're home. Zars unloaded. I'm gonna go get dibs now. Everybody's excited to see each other been a few days. There's Vixen. Hi, Vixie. Hi. Ghost. Okay, there goes Dips. <laughs> Ghost is like, hey, I don't remember you. All right, 
We gotta go to bed. It's been a long day.